August 15th is shaping up to be a big day of changes within Splinterlands the game. Yesterday, the team announced several more changes that are going to go live during that maintenance period and promised to really change the game as we know it. In this episode, we're going to take a look at those changes. If this sounds interesting to you, please stand by. Hey all you Splinterheads, welcome back. Bronze Dragon here saying, hey, thanks for dropping by. I appreciate your time. If you like this kind of content, please like and subscribe. You know that. It helps me. So with that said, uh, coming at you slightly disheveled, a big storm that was a remnant of a hurricane uh, a few days ago pulled through my area today and ended up uh, causing a lot of wood to come down out of a tree. So I got a fair amount of work to do tomorrow. But, uh, you know, I've been running back and forth, but I wanted to get this video uh, done uh, because there is big news that was dropped yesterday uh, by the Splinterlands team, and we're going to take a look at it. It's all about vouchers. So let's go ahead and jump over. And once again, as always, I will leave uh, the link to this Peak D article in the show notes, uh, but it was also provided in Discord when uh, he posted it. So... So this is the result of the proposals about changing how vouchers work and, and we uh, go about using them and how they're used in game and uh, on the blockchain and everything. So this is the result. Um, and let's go ahead and go through it. Uh, I kind of don't, I'm not going to read it word for word. So you can check it out with the link if you want to read through it. And, and I would advise you to, because this is a big change within the game, uh, especially if you're a node holder and one of your primary um, amounts of uh, income into the game is vouchers, you're going to be want to be very aware of this. So let's go ahead and take a look at this. Um, the first section they go over and they say voucher consolidation and liquidity updates. Uh, once again, this is going to happen on August 15th. And, and as we know, if you've watched my past videos, there's a lot of stuff happening on August 15th. So um, hopefully, cross our fingers, everything goes well. Uh, I'm sure it's going to be a, uh, a lot of hours for the, um, the team that works on the game as well as uh, supports the game. So. Uh, we'll cross our fingers for that. But anyway, uh, they say that on August 15th, they're going to implement the following changes to simplify vouchers and rework their liquidity. A lot of people have been tossing around ideas. We've had uh, a few different things go through the process of getting voted on, um, but this is what they decided to do with it. Okay, so number one, voucher rewards for validators and SPS staking. So most everybody who plays the game, you stake SPS and people who know, uh, own node licenses get, like I said, get vouchers in as part of uh, what they get off the node license. Um, now they will be airdropped in game again, like it used to be, <clears throat> rather to the SPS chain, eliminating the need to transfer them in game before using them. This effectively combines voucher G in game and voucher SPS chain tokens into a single in game voucher token. Uh, yeah, I, yeah, I don't have anything against that. I think it simplifies it. Uh, I think that, uh, I could see what they were doing with when they originally pulled it off. Um, but yeah, they're changing it back. Uh, so they're taking them off. Um, you know, everything that's airdropped will be in game. So you don't have to transfer them off of the other chain. Okay. Number two, rewards for voucher SPS hype engine liquidity pool will be discontinued. Okay. So that's uh, what that tells me is if you have uh, any uh, voucher and SPS in the liquidity pool, go ahead and pull them out because they'll just sit there and you won't get anything out of them. Okay. Number three, vouchers may be transferred from decentralized exchanges like Hive Engine. Uh, tribal decks, etc., to Splinterlands, but they cannot be transferred back. So you can transfer in, but you can't transfer out. So they're trying to basically get into the process of getting everything back into the game. Okay. Um, and this, uh, they go on to say, removing the ability to trade vouchers on decentralized exchanges allows us to create an in-game liquidity pool for vouchers while still meeting regulatory requirements for not operating an exchange. So they're going to, they're trying to bring all the vouchers back in, right? And then create a liquidity pool that we can all use if you need vouchers. Okay. So going on. 
uh, end of voucher uh, based discounts. Okay, so this was one of the major things they did with vouchers over the years. Okay, um, it was kind of the idea of proof of play or proof of investment where you had vouchers and then you could use those vouchers, however you earn them, to go ahead and get a discount on various things like nodes, like packs, things like that. Anyway, that's going away. Okay, so to eliminate voucher-based discounts and drive utility for DEC, which is what we want, uh, we're making the following changes. On August 15th, the end of voucher-based discounts for validator license. Okay, so currently, validator licenses are very expensive, but if you wanted to use uh, some portion of that, and I forget what portion it is, but it was a small portion that could be used uh, to provide a discount on the price. And we're talking in the thousands of dollars. Okay, so... Um, so that's going away. Okay, so on August 31st, wild passes and mage wagons no longer purchasable with vouchers. I think this is going to have a major impact on wild. Okay, tell me in the comments if you think I'm wrong. Okay, but one of the things that uh, I have seen as I've gone along with my main account and my secondary account is the fact that uh, it made it more palatable, especially with my secondary account. Um, paying with vouchers because they were a lot cheaper than just paying with DEC. Well, 35, 40%, something like that. So it was a decent amount. So I think that this is going to have a big effect on uh, how many accounts we have paying for the wild pass. Okay. I may be wrong. Tell me in the comments if you think I'm wrong. But uh, in the third date we're looking at here is September 3rd, which is the end of voucher based discounts for rebellion booster packs and energy no longer purchasable with vouchers. Okay, so obviously people who are buying Rebellion booster packs may be using um, the vouchers to get a discount, that's going away. But in the next note, you'll see that on September 3rd, the price of the Rebellion booster packs will also be reduced to 4,000 EC or credits. So, you know, it's kind of, it's kind of a toss up. So the voucher uh, discounts going away if you're buying packs, but also the price is going down. So I think they did a good job there. Um, and then the second note there is energy is no longer purchasable. And that affects mostly the people that are playing for the leaderboard and use up all their energy on a daily basis and buy energy. So, you know, if, if you're in that situation, I'm not in that situation, but if you're in that situation, let me know in the comments what you think about this change. Okay, now moving on, and this is the final section, voucher liquidity pool store and tax. On September 3rd, we'll implement additional changes to refine the voucher system, making them easier to acquire and increasing their utility. So that kind of had occurred to me as I'm reading through this initially, right? I'm like, well, they're taking away the use of all the vouchers. What's the good of having vouchers and having a voucher you, uh, a liquidity pool if they're not able to be used for something. Well, here it is. They're creating an in-game DEC voucher liquidity pool to be allowed to or to be added to allow players to obtain vouchers in the game to be used in the new voucher store. Bam. Okay. Uh, the voucher store will be launched and a brand new card will be available for port, uh, purchase with vouchers. Okay, if this sounds like I'm interested and psyched up about it, I am. I like the idea. I've liked the idea of having a special card in the Glint store that rotated in and out. And I like this idea as well. So it gives us something to go ahead and shoot for, something interesting. You're a card collector. You like playing card games. Hey, everybody likes a new card, right? Um, so you'll be able to use vouchers for uh, a limited uh, I don't know limited edition. I'm just uh, putting that in there, but it will be limited in some way, shape or form, and it will be only available for vouchers. Doesn't say how long they'll be in there before they're rotated out, etc. But we will hear more details of that in the future. Um, but uh, once it goes live, you know, uh, hopefully it'll be a nice one and we'll, you know, try to max one out and get add it to your collection. Now, and the third item here is that the voucher transfers between players will be subject to a 12.5% burn tax. To me, I just kind of, that was huge, right? Um, I guess they're just trying to get rid of vouchers, okay? Because it, it, it's been common for me, since I have two accounts, um, to buy uh, vouchers or whatever, DC, SPS, whatever I need on my secondary account, I buy in my primary account, uh, cards even, you know? And then I shift it over to my secondary account, right? Well, you've got to think about that, especially if you have several accounts. Now, if you buy vouchers and try to uh, transfer them between your multiple accounts, guess what? You're going to be burning 12.5% 
on each of those transfers. So just something to think about and be aware of. Um, and they also note, uh, also on September 3rd, we're removing the Splinter Score Storm Skin Shop. If you still have a hankering to get them, do it now before they're gone forever. So let's go ahead and look at that. I haven't looked at these for a long time. Um, yeah, these are the old skins. Most of them are sold out. So it appears that if you want to get a few of these, um, if you're interested, if you have any of these cards are your favorites and you like the artwork that is still available, which is only a few, um, go ahead and grab it because it is going away. So this has been Bronze Dragon. Uh, once again, check out the link in the show notes so you can read through all the details that I didn't happen to cover in this. I just wanted to make you aware of this if you didn't happen to see this. Um, but lots of big changes happening on August 15th. Uh, I hope everyone uh, who is watching this, if you're on the East Coast from Florida all the way up to Maine in the United States and was, were affected by the hurricane that just pulled through, I hope everyone's doing well and their family is healthy because with health is the basis of it. Without your health, you cannot do anything. So once again, as I always say, this has been Bronze Dragon. I hope everyone on your side is happy and healthy. Even if you've got a lot of work cleaning up your house, you can do that as long as you have your health. I'll see you in Splinterlands. Mm -hmm.